I'm at um, Lee Social Media Surgery in October, 2011, isn't that? That's the year. Um, and I'm with this parade of surgeons. I'm with Monica, who's my co-organizer of this surgery, and Jason, who's a regular. Yeah, you've been to lots now, haven't you? Well, you've helped him out. And so this is your first lead social media surgery, but you've been lots to lots of other social media surgeries, haven't you? So why don't you kick off, Sophie? Tell us how you found your first lead social media surgery. Um, it was nice, actually. It was a nice sized group, so it was quite informal initially. We kind of all had a bit of a chat, uh, a nice group discussion about what people were interested in, what they were doing, and how we could help them. So we talked through quite a few things initially. Mm -hmm. yeah, we, so. Yeah. So the, the range of things was interesting tonight. It sort of seemed to start off with, I mean, it always ends up being more digital than just social. I don't know if that differs by group. Mm -hmm. uh, Leeds has always been a bit, Leeds has always been different to other surgeries I've done. Uh, and it, a lot of people ask for basics, whereas here people come, come along with very specific things like, how do I, how do I make money out of a website? And I'm like, whoa, okay, <laughs> this subject area is massive. I think tonight's was a little bit different in that it was just a bit smaller than normal. It's probably the weather didn't help. Usually there's a lot more people here, and that so there tends to be a much bigger kind of big round robin group of everyone kind of going, I'm so and so. Um, so tonight, yeah, it was quite nice because everyone could. It started off a bit more informal, but then sort of took the lead and took some people away, which worked really well, I think. Because uh, as, right I think <laughs> as discussions started happening, it sort of split off quite naturally, and that was mm. quite nice. Whereas normally I was sort of going, Would you so and so talk to so and so? Was sort of there was actually there was a bit of a natural divide yeah. that we spotted when we split because the, the people we were talking to, it's very much not for profit. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I was, I was going to kind yeah. of do that, yeah. and then um, one of the guys went, Oh, we'll just all talk together, and that. Although that's great, you always find somebody dominates, which is difficult mm. than people that want to ask questions. So it kind of did work out really well. That, mm. that I was, I was kind of going to go, why don't we do it half and half? I've always quite liked the way that you, you never quite know what's going to come through <laughs> the door next. It's you know, it's it's anything and everything. All all human life yeah. is here, <laughs> yeah. one way or another, and and just that chance to kind of respond in a different. Problems, you know, where they are, with their organisation, and, and, and yeah. just sort of help that them. You used to frighten the find. life out of me. I, mean, <laughs> I, I have no idea about this organisation, but actually, I found that actually there's quite a lot of similarities, and that you sort of sometimes you have to sort of dig a bit and ask lots of questions, but often you can kind of go, well, I have to kind of pigeonhole it in my head and go, right, so you're, this is what you need, you know, and usually it's all down to communications, mm. isn't it? Fundamentally, that's what it's about. And sometimes it's just a case of going, oh, there's this tool and that tool, and then you sort of have, like these guys, they kind of have to go away and do a bit of research and then probably come back with more. Questions. I was, yeah, I was going to say there's the other end of the scale from the people that came that had very specific questions. Yeah. They were just, we want to get, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> join this millennium, we want to do this, and we want to develop the website, we want to do social media. And it's almost trying to break off little chunks and yeah. actually work out what direction they need to be going and they've got yeah a lot of thinking to do but you find that they that's actually some of them have got a stronger communication policy and perhaps they realise as they <laughs> yeah. oh we've just got this simple mailing list of you know yeah. five thousand people <laughs> really yeah. like kill for a mailing list like they yeah yeah I think Pete, and they don't have any way to benchmark it so they don't know sometimes the lady with the list server we've had people that have come with a list server before and they they, they kind of went we've got this list server and it's, it's rubbish. And we're like, no, it's not. You've got like thousands of people you've invested in this time, and there's no problem with the list there. And they kind of went, oh, all right then. Was, oh, they felt better about the whole thing. And often, it, I think that's the other thing that comes about a lot is then just saying to people, no, you're doing okay. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Just carry on doing that or try this. Or, mm -hmm. I, think, I think people are so unsure about it and worried, and they've got no one else to talk to. So sometimes it's like a bit of a support group. Yeah. A bit of support, a bit of validation. Yeah. And, yeah. I think sometimes people expect that there's got to be only one way yeah. that everything's got to be done. <laughs> yeah. They don't quite realise that, you know, organisations, it's not one size fits all. No. You know, what you're doing is very much kind of tailored to, to what you need. Yes, yeah. Um, and if it's working, great. Right. Yeah, I, I think I, I do that thing a lot where I go, well, I think that, but it's all fine. If you want to do it that way, that's okay. But I, I personally do it this way, mm. and rather than kind of, because people sort of do that thing, they sort of think we're, experts and sort of going, oh, no, no, it's not like that, you know, I might know a bit more, I know, I just, I spend a lot of time looking at this, so I can probably point you at other things, but, you know, I'm not, I don't know it all, I've probably learned something every time anyway, mm -hmm. about all sorts of different things, I always come away with something new, which mm -hmm. is nice. One of the things that we're trying to do is promote social media surgeries as a innovative way of promoting volunteering mm -hmm. in the community, and from my point of view, I think there are two ways we do that. One is the organisations that we work with, our voluntary organisations, 
and we can help them to use social media to extend their reach and recruit more volunteers. But I think the other important thing is the surgeons themselves who are volunteers. And I mean, why do you do it? I mean, how does it make you feel as people? And you know, why do you keep coming back every month? And, and why, do you, why have you been to so many different surgeries? <laughs> <laughs> I got asked this last week actually. Mm. I was doing some social media training and I mentioned the surgery today. And they just said that they're wary of coming to events like that, particularly when they're free, because they keep thinking what's in it for them. Yeah. So they're a bit worried that they're going to turn up and they're going to get a sales pitch or that yeah. there's going to be some weird thing, cult that they have to sign up to. And I was quite honest about it. It's, it's not entirely selfless for me anyway, because one of the biggest things that you just mentioned, I always learn something. Yeah. And in a role, in my professional life, kind of in social media in particular, the best way that I keep up to date with new developments and yeah. particular hints and tips about what's happening, what's out there, what sites and what bothers wasting your time on, is by having yeah. conversations with people like you two. Yeah. And you. Yeah. Um, so it isn't entirely selfless, but I do feel quite nice doing it. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 my role's a bit different because I run it, so I feel a bit yeah. of a loyalty <laughs> to it to sort of keep it going. And as that's that's changed over time, but I think the first bit was the kind of challenge of can we do it, can mm. we get it running, because Leeds had its own kind of challenges. Um, and it started at the same time with quite a few others, and, and it's kind of stayed. And then, then I kind of felt a bit of a loyalty to the people that come in, because they were kind of getting booked out, and I was a bit like, oh, there's just this demand, I can't like, and then, <laughs> can we come back? Yeah, oh, okay, yeah, 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 come back, you know. You kind of feel like you're delivering a service. But yeah, it seems you there's a, there's a, the mo motivation for me has been that when I started it two years ago, there were there were people out there calling themselves social media experts. It's cool. I kind of feel like I need to have done it to be able to tell people that I can do it. And one of the yeah. ways to do it was to come to social media surgery and and, and sort of in a really weird way sort of offer advice for free. But then it didn't come attached to this fee that was like, well, I've just paid you all this money and it failed. You know, this was a sort of an opportunity for me to try out some ideas with organisations that kind of had no expectations of, of me because I was sort of going, well, try this or try that or try that. And that was really kind of, for me, it still would be like that. So I kind of feel like I can kind of come up with crazy ideas. And, mm. and actually a lot of them need that because they haven't got the money to do stuff. So often it's like going, well, who tried this and who tried that? Or do it this way, do it that way. Or use, you know, and often it's like finding out about all these great free tools. Yeah. And I'm like, Wow, you can do that for nothing. You know? That's what I find as yeah. well, really. That you, 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 you're teaching, but you're learning a lot as well. Mm. Good example, just this evening, you know, I've learned a lot more about kind of mailing lists and, yeah. and cleverer ways of running them than I've been doing. You know. And yeah. uh, you know, just just sort of learning from other people and kind of learning from yourself in a way to sort of, sort of developing your own teaching skills is, is quite. Yeah, I guess it's sharing, isn't it? Although yeah. everyone's volunteering, it's the idea that you, we're all sharing knowledge. You know? mm. There's mm. a kind of good group of people that you can trust as well. I've met people that I can happily say to people, I'll refer you to this person. Mm. They're kind of just, just good people, aren't they? If you've given up two hours of your month to come and help people for nothing, that's sort of thing. Well, you're kind of fundamentally a good person. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely feel I get a lot more out than I put in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's not that I turn up and don't do anything. <laughs> That's great. I mean, some of us have defined this feeling that you get at the end of a social media surgery is a social glow. <laughs> How do you define a social glow? Uh, oh, I don't know. Just, I, kind of, I think it's that thing, that reaction you get from people that they're just so grateful. Just mm. like, oh, wow, you know what I mean? You know, and, uh, I mean, my clients are lovely, but I don't always get that reaction from my clients <laughs> every day. Whereas you come here and, uh, and it's that thing that people don't have very high expectations when they come, so they're quite often coming thinking, oh, I don't really know what I'm going to get out of this. So mm -hmm. even, there's a guy that turns up tonight by mistake, he's meant to be coming to an event next week, <laughs> and he turned up a week early, and he sort of went, I'll stay. And he left, he left going, I'm really glad I stayed. That's really, been really <laughs> great. I thought, that's just brilliant, isn't it? This is a random bloke off the street, but even he found it really useful. <laughs> <laughs> so that, I think that says it all, you know, that people leave going, wow, thanks so much, you've been amazing. And also, like, you know, part of the motivation of doing this was, you know, there's lots of people out there that don't know where to go. So just yeah. being able to say to, you know, organisations that have no cash or are very cash structured, especially at the moment, that there are other ways to do this and there's better ways for you to spend your money than spending it on, you know, a five grand website. Mm -hmm. It makes me think, well, that's a good thing. Because, you know, how can that possibly be bad? 
I but think sometimes you can kind of see the difference yeah. um, that's going to follow through from yeah. the advice you've given. So if you've suggested a better way that they can communicate with their audience, yeah. then you know more people are going to come to their website, more people are going to benefit from the work that they're doing. Yeah. Um, so just sort of seeing in your own mind that difference yeah. that's going to come a little bit further down the line. Yeah. And then hopefully they might come back one day and go, ah, you know what happened? <laughs> exactly what you said. <laughs> yeah. That's fantastic. And you've just reminded me, Monica, that next month will be the second anniversary of the first lead social media surgery. So we've been going for two years. We, we should have a party. It's fantastic, really, isn't it? With cake. With cake. Oven cake. We do that. Yeah. I might get loads of people here. <laughs> we're going to run. Okay, so if you're watching this, remember, November, lead social media surgery, there will be cake. Yeah. Thank you very much.